This tutorial shows how to deploy a talent job to different environments, such as development, test, and production. It uses something called context groups, contexts, and variables to configure, depending on the export settings or on the run settings, different parameters for your jobs. I'm going to start with a job called context print file, and I'm going to add a tjava component. It's going to log some of the variable settings. I'm going to add a T row component and from metadata I'm going to take the services file uh, input text. I'll run the service file into the log row component. Going to the context menu, I'm going to create a context group Enter a unique name. I'm going to define a single variable, that variable's file name. And I'm going to set some of the values here. I'm going to go into this window and I'm going to set up my two environments. One I'll call dev, one I'll call prod. expand the file name variable and I'll give a setting for each of these. Offline I have some text save off that I'm going to cut and paste. So I have a path for that on a Windows machine and I'll use one for a Linux machine here so it's very uh, different. I can also provide a default one, in which case when I'm running the jobs or exporting the jobs, there will be a value. In this case, I'm going to leave that blank. So the context group is created here. Now, I'm going to, in the Java component, I'm going to log that value with the print line. And in the service file, rather than using the file name which I've provided in the metadata, I'm going to switch to a built-in, that's the, the customized property, and I'm going to use the same variable that I just printed out with Java, context file name. I'm going to link up the context group with the job here. And you see I've got the uh, two file names over here available to be run. Now, let's deactivate these jobs first and run it. This will print out whatever the value is for that file name variable. Got it set to dev. I'll set it to prod now. It's picked up the Unix name. Now, if I set it to default, I haven't provided a value, so it'll come in as empty. So with it set to dev, I'm going to reactivate these two jobs here and run it. And we'll see the context of the uh, we'll see the contents of the service file show up in the screen now. So 
So the, now the job here, uh, ATD context print file, is now parameterized with this file name variable. And running it, I can use this control over here to switch the different values. Now for exporting it, when I want to export my job, I go to context print file, export. And here is where I will provide a um, different context script. So for example, the dev version is going to go in here, and I click finish. And this will produce a zip file that can then be run. Uh, similarly, if I did a production deployment, I would select the production context scripts, export the zip file, and then I can transfer that by FTP, SFTP, whatever mechanism to the Unix machine and run it there. Oops.